When we go into the forest, we are guests, and we need to respect everything that's in the forest, and be careful with how we handle the material, how we handle ourselves, and my mother always spoke to the trees and hoped that we didn't harm those trees, that we will use the bark for beautiful baskets, and that we will respect everything, even the rocks. All right. Here we go. Okay. A bad thing to do is to get bark right on a trail. You want to respect the tree for one thing, so that it's not uh, exposed, and you really shouldn't do it. Oh, look at that one. They just mm -hmm. did that one recently. A really old tree. Oh, you would never do that to a tree that old. That tree is about 300 years old. We've gone past all of the cedar trees that have been harvested already, um, and we're gonna start hiking back just a little bit into the woods. We're gonna be collecting from the side um, that's away from the wind and you can't see it from the trail. I personally wouldn't pick this tree because at the base here, it's got all these curves going along. Um, you want something that's kind of flat surfaced so that it's easier to pull. Um, otherwise, it would be a great tree because there are a few branches. Um, so we're gonna just move right over here to this one. How can you tell that it's ready or that it's a good tree? Um, because it doesn't have branches until way up till about 20 or 30 feet. Okay. And the bark looks a certain way? It's reddish and the lines are straight up and down. You look at this too. You look at um, how it is at the base and this won't go clear down. It'll be way right up here. But you want it to go as far down as possible. But you could start here on this side of it. And as high as somebody could go, go down here. Okay, and then put the ax in so you're sure you're at the hardwood. First? Okay? Yeah. And the top cut, is that about four inches wide? How wide is that? Well, yeah, at more like three. Okay, now you can put the ax underneath and go up with it. So what time of year do you usually go? It depends on the weather, because sometimes we don't even get it until June, but this year is early people got it in April. Oh, she people. keeps going down, clear okay. to the bottom okay. now. That'll be what she does, and then she'll put the X in when she gets down to the bottom again. How far down? Okay. Keep Here? going right to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that, that will give you the leverage. Okay, now cut the other side from the top down. So just go as high as you can, and okay. just three, three, three and a half to four inches. So much easier when the season is right. It'll just go right in and just come down. Okay, use the ax again. Okay, go up with the X again. I'd start where you where you stop, because okay. it's easier. Okay, now cut it across. Now that one should go really far.
Okay. There you go. Don't forget, you have to stand at right angles to it. Pull it. Keep pulling it up. Uh-oh. You were right. <laughs> it should have been over oh. there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it went a long way, though. <laughs> now, you uh -oh. now you can come Now you need brute strength. So. Let's just see. So a strip like that, Dolores, how many of those strips does she need to make a small basket? She would, that one would make a small basket. Okay, somebody else get a little piece right next to it and you'll do the same thing. It'll be on that. Oh, there's branches there, so it'll have to be on this side. Start at the top, start further up, and then, because it's easier. Okay, keep going. That's that's good. It'll go all the way from there. But just make sure it goes the three inches across. Okay. Then make your three inch cut. Push really hard, as hard as you can. Yeah, keep going down. Now the X. Get the X under it so it's all the way. Yeah. No, the knife and cut across and then the axe. Okay, here. That's it, yeah. As soon as you could lift the bark up, lift the bark up, then cut. Yeah, that should loosen it up. Okay. And so you should be directly in front of facing the bark that you're peeling? Yes, uh -huh. okay. and then pulling it up at 45 degree angles. That's it. You can lean against the tree and it'll give you leverage. Don't look up. That's one of the rules. Don't look up because you'll get dirt in your eyes. <laughs> Pull tight, pull hard. That's it. Okay. Oh, nice. Pull. <laughs> wow. Wait a minute. Good. Yeah, keep going. Uh oh, it's not oh. going very far. <laughs> Just keep going? Yeah, pull it. It didn't go to the hardwood, and, and that's what you have to really be sure it does. See, it only went as far as she went. Be sure to keep the red cedar straight because. Um, if, you, if it goes way up, be sure to whip it to the side or whip it to the other side because if it kinks, it'll break right there. You don't want it to break. So like Nani said, you're going to take your knife and you're going to make a cut as far up as you can reach with the knife and you're just going to do your single cut all the way down, um, taking the axe as you go and you're just going to push the bark away from the tree and then you're going to go back up and only three but, inches yep. you're going to make your second cut all the way down do the same thing with the axe on this side loosen the bark um, and you want to go as far down as you can get cut your line across yeah. um, use the axe if you need to to get it to the trunk and when it's loose you just pull it up and so you want to be par um, parallel to the tree pull it straight back um, you've got a lot of room, no branches right there, so you guys should get a really nice strip. Okay. Two pieces, right? I need yep. to plan ahead. Yep. Um, so I would start... Right here? Maybe three inches to the right. Right here? And push hard? Yep. About halfway, you're going to take your axe and just kind of right there, I think. Okay. Hold it there, take your axe and loosen it from the tree. And I'm going this way? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Try to get it as far up as you can. Like that? Yep. You have your other Do the same thing. You're going to pull the bottom but half I'm, away. But should I go up? Start up here? Yep. Start from where you ended. Don't be afraid to get the blade in there. Okay. And then you're going to go up to the top. Give okay. it three inches to the left. And do the same thing. Make your line all the way down. Make sure you get nice and deep in there. Okay, about halfway, you're gonna take your axe again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
jam it in. You, you want to loosen it from the tree as much as you can. Okay. You and you're just going to match your other cut. Okay. And then cut it around here? Yep. Don't be afraid of it. There we go. Okay, so you've got a piece lifted now, so if you want, you can use your knife to finish off your line. There. Now walk it straight back. So, we got the first strip, so the second one you're going to take your axe and you're going to go up as far as you can, you're going to shove it under on this side and just pull it away from the tree. Okay, you're going to do that as far down as you, from the top, as far down to about here. You're going to make your second cut at the bottom here because you don't want to go to the same spot. And then you're going to take your fillet knife, again three inches as far as you can all the way down. And then you're going to go back with your um, hatchet and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to loosen it up on this side all the way down, cut your line, loosen that up, and then you're going to strip. Okay. It's very slippery. There's a lot of moisture coming out. So it just slides. Let's look at the tree really quick. So. Kind of it twisted, twisted a, bit. a little bit, so you're going to want to go maybe right here. So you're going wider because it's twisted? Just a little, just, yeah. So you're about halfway, you're going to want to stop and grab the axe. So you start at the top and come down. Okay. If it's giving you a hard time, you can go in from this side and try to pull it away more. So maybe you want to get it in there just a little bit more. Yep. And then just... Uh -huh. There you go. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yay! So I want to stand directly in front of it. Directly in front of it. And then 45 and degree. And walk backwards. Um, <coughs> when I get stuck on a branch, um, sometimes you have to whip the bark to oh. get past, and then you can keep pulling. So you cut into into the bark, and then. And when it starts to go like this, be sure to start with your knife. What I usually do too is, I take it around a small tree and I'll rub it. I take it and weaken so that um, the bark will come off easier because otherwise it's gonna break off it and you don't want that to happen and you always start at the narrow end of it you don't start down there it'll break off in a short time uh oh yeah i didn't bend it enough right here you have to really bend it it's almost acting like it's the end of the season see how it broke off here it never does it. It usually stays really straight. Okay, you roll it up and then you tie it with that smaller piece that you got off. Because you're going to save that too anyway. And you'll use this piece too.
And we leave these by the tree so it'll nourish the tree again. We don't take it out of the forest. It's softening the outer bark so that they'll be able to get the inner bark off much easier. If they didn't do that, it would keep breaking off in small pieces. So I was wondering if you could help me start to separate it. Oh, sure. It, I've, I've it doesn't start at the bottom, you start, you start at the top. Ends, yeah. yeah, you need to cut right to the part where it starts to get pinkish. Because if you get it to the outer side, it won't, it won't work. It's really tough because it, it's when it's pink, it's already turning to wood, you know, the outer bark. I think I'll cut it a little bit more, have more leverage. So I could just feel it going a little bit too thin on the inner bark. Uh huh. So I stopped and asked Dolores and it was. So okay. she's now cut some more into the pink. For one thing, it's kind of wide. I think it'd be easier if you sat down to the okay. okay. Put it between your knees. See, the knee gives you that leverage. Oh, that's good. Oh. Okay, stop. As soon as it does that, stop. And you put it between your legs so it has equal leverage. And you pull in the side, you pull in on this piece. Right, uh -huh. right. Mm -hmm. You kind of jerk it. If you give, if when you're doing it, if you give equal pressure. So does it look here like she's leaving too much pink on? Um, it's quite a bit. But. Yeah, I had to switch it because I had it set up for like okay. two. Okay. 